I'm Anna Mumford. I'm um, chairwoman of Friends of Garibaldi. We've got our opening, uh, grand opening tomorrow, which we're all really, really looking forward to. Um, we're hoping that it's going to be a great day. Hopefully we'll have the weather for it. We've got some really good bands playing. We've got a, a, an auction and a raffle, a magician as well. So we're hoping it's going to be a really lovely day. We're all really excited. And, uh, and we're hoping as many people as possible will be able to come along and support us. Um, yet again, we've had so much help from the local community. There's so many people who have um, helped us get this ready, whether it's delivering flyers or people have donated to the raffle and the auction. And it's been absolutely brilliant. And we continue to be so happy with the level of support we've received. And, and yeah, hopefully it'll be a great day tomorrow and hope to see as many people there as possible. My name is Lars Bourne. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, committee of the Friends of the Garibaldi. Alex Ashley, and I'm a member of the committee of the Friends of the Garibaldi. And what have you guys been doing to help with the uh, open day, for the grand official opening day for tomorrow? Uh, we've been uh, erecting gazebos all afternoon. We have one big enough to accommodate the bands, having three bands all afternoon tomorrow. And then we have some other gazebos that will accommodate some people that might want to uh, be protected from the weather if necessary uh, when viewing them. Yes, well, we spent uh, well, the morning covering the grass so that it can cope with uh, the footfall, hopefully get lots of people. And uh, yes, then building three gazebos this afternoon. Um, all uh, hard work, but hopefully it'll um, work out well tomorrow. Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to for tomorrow? I'm looking forward to getting some people back through the doors who haven't been here for a while um, and, and show them that how, much, how, how good the place is now. I mean, the, the beer is brilliant here now. It was, it was not a pub that was particularly great for its beer, and now it's really um, top-notch. Just hoping we have a good turnout tomorrow. Uh, we're reopened as the Garibaldi Community Pub, reflecting the uh, community involvement that we've had uh, in getting this far. A lot of people have contributed in many different ways to get, get us to where we are now. So uh, a celebration of that tomorrow is what we're all looking forward to. So do you think you'll be able to sustain the success of the pub, say, that you've had over the last couple of months, say, in the future, the next six to 12 months? Well, we hope so, and there's, there's every reason to believe that that will be the case. Uh, it's a good pub. It's uh, all fresh and repainted. Uh, as Alex mentioned, we have some of the best beer for miles around. Uh, it's a very friendly place to be. Everybody's welcome. And uh, we hope that keeps us ever on the uh, upward ascendancy. It has been you know, struggling in the past. And um, no, uh, what, the changes that we've made, um, I think it, it's, it's already bearing fruits. And so, yeah, I, I think that um, in, in a year's time we'll be um, you know, still still growing our, our customers. My name's Annie Clark and I've been um, hunting around for raffle prizes for the grand opening of the Gary Baldy on the 7th of October and I'd like to express my great thanks to all the businesses in Rygate uh, for all their contributions. Um, I haven't got time to name all of them but would like to mention uh, the Curry Gardens which is a lovely meal for two with a bottle of wine. Um, I'd like to also mention a dish uh, somebody can go and create whatever they want to create. Uh, Green Sleeves the Flower Shop down the road, a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Red Hill and Rygate Golf Club, a four ball. Uh, Rygate Opticians. Uh, Philip Lloyd, which is an individual jewellers in Rygate, have donated a beautiful bracelet. Um, Morton's Padlock, um, for all of those who are um, avid DIY merchants. Red Hill Kebab Shop. We have wine, we have a, a brewery tour. Uh, which is associated with the pub. We have actual people that come to the pub that have donated prizes. Uh, a lady called Carol has donated a tablet and um, a lovely bedspread. And that's just to name a few, really. And then so the list goes on. And money raised, what is it going towards? Um, we're going to give uh, some of the money to cystic fibrosis, some of the money to muscular sclerosis, and then the rest to the friends of the Gary Baldy. I'm now with Chris, who's the manager of the Garibaldi pub. Chris, are you all ready for tomorrow? I think so, Tess. Basically, um, the cellar's full of beer, um, which is the most important thing. <laughs> We're stocked up on everything else. Uh, the gazebos are up, um, so in case the elements uh, are against us. Um, but there's, you know, there's plenty of space in the garden for, bat, for the band and uh, for customers to stay out there and enjoy them or they'll be able to enjoy them from all around the pub, around the pub I'm sure. So, yeah, everything's good to go, I think. Surrey Sound. So it's Sunday evening. I'm back here at the Gary Baldy pub in Redhill. 
can I ask, were you here yesterday at the grand opening? And if so, how did it go? Yes, I was here twice. And I came down about one o'clock. And I came, I left about two hours and the place was getting packed. It was just absolutely brilliant. The atmosphere was brilliant. I went home, come back, six o'clock. And it was almost four deep at the bar. And they had the fantastic food, pop-up bar, round the corner. The atmosphere was just absolutely brilliant. You know, how can you replicate that? So what about the bands? Did you hear them at all? They kicked off at 11.30. <laughs> and, and the music was just brilliant. I was, was come to my era. And it was, and they come down. They weren't in the pub. They were in the tent down there. And it was just fantastic. Absolutely. What else can I say? Just brilliant. Just why can't they do this every weekend? My name's Emma Lake, and I run all the social media channels for the Garibaldi. Um, and yesterday I was here all day for the grand opening, and it was all very exciting to be here in person. And I think actually we still managed to get that excitement online. We had lots of interaction on our on our Twitter. We got over 600 followers during the day, so people are really excited on Twitter to come into the pub as well, and it gets a real buzz about the pub. There was, you know, there were so many people here. The bar staff did such a great job making sure nobody went thirsty, even though it was like five deep in the evening. <laughs> All the bands were amazing. It was just such, there's a real excitement about the pub. And I think everybody gets a bit nervous, you know, is it going to work? And actually the, the way that people turned out and supported us and supported the charities that we were supporting with our grand opening, it just gives you a real sense of belief that you're doing the right thing. So do you think this will now uh, maybe build your custom? People will come to the Garibaldi or do you think maybe they might think, oh, this is just a one-off? I hope not. We did have quite... A, I woke up this morning to like 100 notifications on Twitter and there were lots of people saying yesterday was the first time we came in. We came in because we knew he was having a big day. Like, we had such a great time with, you know, people saying family, they brought their families, it was amazing and that they're definitely going to come back. So I think it's really promising. I'm now with Chris... How did it go yesterday? Uh, it went really, really well. We we're really, really happy. It was, it was so busy. The bands went down really, really well. The food was amazing. Um, uh, you know, everyone was jumping on deck behind the bar to uh, try and serve as many customers as possible. It was a bit manic, but um, we, we got it done, and it was yeah, everyone loved it. We've had just really, really positive like, feedback, so we're really happy. I was just going to say, have you got any uh, feedback from your customers? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I only do Facebook, not the rest of the other social medias, but just on Facebook we've had uh, a lot of feedback that's good, really good, and um, other people inform me that uh, there, there is other good feedback out there. And most people, as they left last night, were saying what a great time they'd had, so, you know, we couldn't ask for anything more, really. So what does this now mean for the Gary Baldy pub? Um, well, you know, there's another boost to our custom, you know, hopefully uh, we put our name on the map now, so uh, we just wait and see what happens over the next few months. We've got to lead up to Christmas, some people are saving money, some people are spending money. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll just uh, get as many people in here as we can and, and maintain it for, uh, for the next couple of years. <laughs> You've been raising money uh, with the raffles for the MS Society and also an Assistic Fibrosis Trust. Do you know how much money you've made for them? We've, so far, what we've counted up with is over £1,200. So, um, uh, yeah, so it's the Cystic Fibrosis Trust, M Multiple Sclerosis Society, and also the Friends of the Garibaldi themselves, So because we, we put money back into the business to provide community facilities. So it'll be split between the three of us, yeah. So you're a regular of the Garibaldi. What attracts you to this pub? Um, I love the local community feel about it it's always been a locals pub and so many pubs nowadays are becoming more chain and it's, you're just not meeting the same people time and time again and it's nice to have that continuity I think when you're going out to socialize to meet the same people not necessarily talk about the same things talk about anything but have that that familiarity so you can just have a good chat ultimately so how long have you been coming here and did you come here before it closed down and how does it compare now to how it was I think when I first became a sort of a current regular of like it was 2009 uh, when I actually came 
for a first date with my now wife and um, yeah at that point the, the the vibe behind the bar and the general feel of the pub was was good it was a, a, a safe place and ultimately she's my wife now, so something must have gone right we've enjoyed Christmases here uh, various other anniversaries Easter's you know we've seen bands up here we've come in on you know various party nights I've had birthday parties up here and yeah it's always you know you're always well received you never feel uncomfortable to be here and yeah the people it's the people that make it so did you used to come here before and if so how has it changed well i used to come here and it uh, was open before they had the enforced shutdown earlier this year i suppose they've been coming for about seven or eight years i like the beer which they had but it was always very quiet and the, towards the end it got very run down so really pleased it's reopened uh, it's one of those genuine little locals um, what I call a wet house, I concentrate on the beer and um, since it's been reopened it's been absolutely brilliant. There's a lot of people coming in here I've never ever seen before and that is amazing. I don't know where they come from or whatever but there's a whole load in the evenings, a load of people coming here for the first time ever. Um, I did used to come here before, I've been coming to this pub for about 10 years uh, with my husband um, and it does mean a lot to me so um, I recently, we recently got, had our 10th wedding anniversary and because we came, we both came in here on the way to church just up the road so we had a party in here a couple of weeks ago and we, I was wearing my wedding dress you were the one in the wedding dress. and yes. um, it was completely bonkers, we put the song on the jukebox, it was like I was actually getting married again so Aww. that's how much this pub means to me and I don't think the change... The pub hasn't, in some ways, the pub hasn't changed because you've still got that real sense of community. It just feels like the community is now bigger and we've got more people that are really excited about our pub. It's not just us sitting here like wishing we could save the pub and there was more people because now it's happening.